Howdy, 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 everybody. All right, so just wanted to. How's everybody doing? <laughs> just wanted to give a little update of what's going on. So I haven't since I haven't update since I haven't uploaded a video in like eight years. What's it? My horn work. Horn doesn't work. So I just want to update you guys on everything that's going. Oh, horn works now. Perfect. Another neighbors are all outside wondering what the heck is going on. No, I'm just kidding. I don't have any neighbors. <coughs> just wanted to update you guys on everything that's going on, everything that I've been doing, and what's been going on, and why I haven't uploaded in eight years, <coughs> and everything that's new. So, let's get started immediately. As y'all know, I sold the F-150 to the junkyard like eight years ago, and, uh, I bought it back because it, there was a, I just missed it. I missed the old F-150. Um, and before you guys even say anything, this is not a right-hand steer vehicle. You're all like, oh, everyone in the comments. Oh my gosh, is that a right-hand steered truck? No, you idiot. It's just a front-facing camera, so everything's backwards. Calm down. Just to get that clear. So I bought the F-150 back from the scrap yard and uh, it, it was, I was missing a spot in my heart for the thing and you know, I, I was like, I gotta get this thing back. This thing means way too much to me. So I got it back, took, the, took it to Cole Motors to get the front end fixed on it and uh, maybe some, a couple other upgrades, like some major upgrades to the thing because the thing just needs some major upgrades. It needs like major major upgrades and i wanted to tell you guys what i've been doing for it but it's just some major upgrades but what i'm actually doing to it is uh i'm putting like a major upgrade into it like i mean like a major major upgrade and if y'all want to see the major upgrades to the f-150 uh it will be done this weekend in ohio it's going to Ohio to the Van Wert meet. Let me put it up here on the screen. Uh, Ohio Fairgrounds. The Van Wert Ohio Fairgrounds is where it's going to be revealed at on Saturday. So if y'all want to come see it with the major upgrades, there's going to be... <clears throat> this is going to be the biggest meet ever. Um, there's going to be burnout contest, which is like $800,000 if you win. There's dirt drags, uh, tug of wars... And live music. So if y'all want to be there, you better all better be there. Because the F-150 is going to be there. And I am challenging everyone to a tug of war. So if y'all want to tug of war the F-150. You better be there. And now that everything was supposed to be online registration. They changed it now. So you can show up at the gate and you can pay at the gate. So it's only $30 to enter your truck. And only $10 to enter the gate. So it's only $10 to enter if you don't bring a truck. I mean, why would you not pay $10 to go in there and have unlimited everything? Watch the dirt drags and watch the F-150 pull everyone across the United States. So if you want to challenge me to a tug of war, I think all the events there are $20 to enter your truck in. So $20 to enter the truck, that's pretty good. So if you want to tug of war me, whoever can beat me gets... $80. I don't know. We'll figure that one out when we get there. So if y'all want to tug of war the F-150, better be there. Because this thing, there's no chance you're going to win at all. There's absolutely no chance. <laughs> none at all. Absolutely none. Because if you, there's no way. There's no way you will win. Because you guys have no idea what these major upgrades are. And if you even think what they are, you're wrong. Because that's not what's happening. So I went to Daytona last weekend. Or this weekend, last weekend, I don't know. The other day, it was decent. Can I please stop interrupting? So, went to Daytona. I drove the old chummins down there. 20 hours to go down there. It wasn't bad. I mean, the, yeah. the show wasn't bad. 
it was pretty decent, but pretty much after the show. Who's this idiot? He's got a 6'4", that's why he's going so slow. Yeah, so the show wasn't bad. It was pretty fun. Uh, but the was most fun was driving up and down the strip. That was fun. With all the people. I've never seen so many squatted trucks in my life. Holy cow. What? No. Get her going. Yeah, so we... Uh, yeah, we got her going to Daytona. And then Sunday, the day that we were... the. We we're gonna leave Monday morning, but Sunday my throttle kept sticking, and it ended up snapping, so I wasn't be able. I was didn't want to drive this thing back because I didn't want to drive, and I didn't think it was gonna make it back just because something was gonna break. Um, yeah. So the throttle broke because I uh, the entire time I was on the strip I was won't 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 on the throttle the entire time. And now since I broke that, I have a nice string here. Let me show you my string. I have a little wire here that's tied to the pump and you just pull it and that revs it up and uh, that's how you move. So that's my new throttle for now until I get a new one. But it works, it ain't stupid if it works. So I end up just trailing, trailing this back, back home. Um, what else happened? Uh, I hooked up this boost gauge so it works now. It just started working yesterday. I don't know why. I wired it up like a week ago and it didn't work. So I guess it just works now. I took it on the beach. It got stuck. I'll throw some videos in of Daytona. Well, might as well. Michael, you idiot! Wow! Alright, so... today but maybe tomorrow I don't know yet so let's see what we got well you see here we didn't give her enough beans and we got her stuck uh, so we're gonna pull her out big oof happened it wasn't a bad drive at all until we got down to Georgia and it took forever the entire road on Georgia there were cops everywhere there was at least 25 in a mile radius and they were pulling people over left and right 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 and uh, I don't know if y'all are on my Instagram I'll put it on the screen right here of uh, me getting pulled, I get pulled over all the time for my blue clearance lights. I change those now, they're amber, so I don't get pulled over for that for in Daytona since that, in Daytona they pull everyone over. So I was like, I'm not getting pulled over. Nope, not, not doing this. So I changed those. Um, I finally got a plate on this thing. I'm going to show you guys my plate since everybody else on YouTube and Instagram and Snapchat and Twitter and uh, TikTok and everything else like to blur out their license plate. I like you. I like to show you mine so that you can't steal it. It's a very special plate. Yeah. Why are there little pieces of plastic falling out of my dash? Also, I've got a whole bunch of different stickers up on my website. Um, I've got the free diesel ones. I've got get her going ones, idiot stickers, and give her the bean stickers. So. If you don't have a sticker, I suggest you get one because I've got all, actually all of them are out of stock. 
except for the give of the beans one. I have 19 of those left. But I gotta show you my license plate since everybody else is scared too. All right, let's go show you my license plate. Here it is. Got the nice historic plate on there because uh, you guys can't call this in since it's like a historic plate. It's like illegal to haul, call in a historic vehicle because all historic vehicles are slow and there's no reason to even call them in because yeah, there's just no reason to call them in because we're not, we can't do anything wrong because we're not going fast or all historic plate people are very respectful to everybody else and you know, no one has a problem because I had to go through like several tests to get this plate so that I can't get called in for anything because it's just impossible. So, just letting that out there. If you call me in, they'll say, oh no, he has a historic plate. You can't, they can't do anything about it because they already know I can't be doing anything wrong because I took several tests and everything. So, that's that. So, I guess that's it for today. Be at the Van Wert meet or you're an idiot. Look at the old gal over there. Oh, yas. Oh, yeah. So yeah, be there or you're an idiot. We'll see you all there.